This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. What is T&E? You may or may not have heard about this, but there are a lot of different ways to pay adjusters, right? Um, the, the ones you hear most about is fee schedule or component pay. And then there is like a day rate that you can get. Some, some opportunities will pay you hourly, right? And then there's one called T and E, which is time and expense. And basically what you do as the adjuster is you will be given kind of a, an hourly rate, right? And then you will log everything that you do on a file, including like drive time and time that you spend at the house, time that you spend making phone calls, and you will track that and put that on an invoice and then turn that in, right? So in other words, they may pay you $40 an hour, or they may pay you, we'll just go with $40 an hour, right? Um, actually, we'll, we'll make it $60 an hour to make the, the math easy for me. Okay, so if you make a, your first contact call and it takes you 15 minutes, then that's a quarter of an hour, right? So that you, you would charge then, um, you would put on your invoice and you're gonna track this as you go. Um, first contact call, set appointment, you know, explain process, whatever, 15 minutes, and that's 0.25 of an hour, which would be out of $60 an hour, that would be $15, right? So it makes, like I said, the math be easy for me. Um, so then you have 15 bucks, right? And then you have um, insured call back to uh, reschedule, five minutes, right? And then whatever five is out of 60, you know, that's a percentage of that, so that's a few bucks. And then drive time to house is 27 minutes, so that would be $27. Um, so on and so forth. Spend time spent at the house, 2.5 hours. So it'd be, you know, two, it'd be 120 plus 30, 100, 150 bucks, right, just to be at the house. And maybe it takes you three hours to write the estimate, so on and so forth, right? You get it down to the bottom and maybe you've got like $957, um, whatever it comes out to, right? And that's that's your, that's your a T&E bill. And then you would turn that in when you're fully done with your part of the claim and then they would pay you that or they would pay you a split on that, right? Um, not super common, um, but it is out there and, and I've worked T&E, um, never on CAT. It's not saying that you can't run into that on CAT, but I think it's uh, because it's, uh, uh, CAT is, I don't know, I think because daily claims are a little bit more complex, it makes more sense to pay that because you may be making a lot of phone calls, you may be making multiple site visits and inspections, um, and it makes more sense to kind of sort of capture all of that time that you spend working on a particular loss, right? That said, um, I'm not a big fan of T&E because it, I'm also, in certain circumstances, and as, as an experienced adjuster, definitely not uh, a big fan of that because it tends to not reward efficiency, right? Because it may be that I can write that estimate in 36 minutes, including importing and labeling the photos, and I might scope the house in 25 minutes, right? Well, it, it, it might be uh, a 5,000 square foot house with a 70 square roof on it, but it's a real big, super simple, and it's, it was it was really it's two main slopes, right? Front, back slope, you know, did my test squares and got four measurements and got the whole thing, bada bing, bada boom, I'm out of there. And it's a huge claim, right? The, the estimate that I write is giant. You know, it's a $37,000 claim or whatever it is, but it only took me an hour and a half total to do everything. Well. It's, it's disincentivizing me to be more efficient, right? Um, so one of the things, and this is again why I don't think you really see this on CAT, um, because volume is the name of the game and they don't want you out there just kind of like clocking in and then like, you know, dragging your feet around the, the property, going as slow as you can because you want to like spend as much time there as possible and like taking a long time to do the estimates. They want that stuff closed quickly. So it's doubtful. Like I said, it's. Probably somebody's probably doing it or has done it. Um, and if you if it's you and you you know when you want to post in the comments that you've done T and E on cat, um, please do so. Um, but I don't think it's very, it's not it's just not very common. Compo uh, fee schedule is the most common thing for cat work. But on daily, again, you know it may be a different story where they don't want you to rush through these claims. They want you to do everything correctly. They want you to be timely with you know calling people back and, and you know getting things done 
and they, they take as long as they take, right? And they're going to pay you for the time that you spend on it. Um, so much more common on daily claims um, for, for time and expense. Um, but again, you can still be paid uh, fee schedule on daily claims, which I've you know I've done both both of those. Um, so teeny, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, if you you know, and again, if you're offered, and I, this is just. I don't care about this when if you're brand new. Um, if you're if, if a hurricane hits and you and somebody calls you and they say, hey, we want you to go to, to Florida to work the hurricane, we're paying T and E, um, I wouldn't turn it down. I would take it and just just go, right? Because it's you're not as concerned about making a bunch of money as you are about gaining experience, right? Later on you can you know you can turn that one down and be like, I don't that doesn't make any sense. I'd really work rather work fee schedule, especially since there's a lot of total losses, you know. And so whatever it is, right? Um, so, but again, if you're brand new, don't worry about this stuff. Don't worry about teeny. Don't worry about day, you know, day rate or fee schedule or hourly or whatever. Um, in fact, I would even say um, it's probably better. Uh, you may be offered the option to do hourly as a brand new person because they're going to know that you're new, right? When they when they when they ask you to come on a deployment, and they may put you on hourly, uh, and then and they may say something like. And I've heard this, I haven't experienced this myself because I was doing fee schedule for so long that I've never worked hourly as an adjuster. But as a, as a new person, I think it would make sense if you have the opportunity to work hourly to, to start, like for the first couple, first week maybe, maybe first 10 days until you get your feet under you and you get the, this process, you know, kind of um, sort of, you've got your brain wrapped around a little bit better um, because you're not going to be, you only get paid on fee schedule when you close a claim. Right. On hourly, you're going to get paid for every day that you're out there until you reach a point to where they say, "All right, well, let's move you to fee schedule because you know that's you're 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 going to make more doing fee schedule than you will doing hourly." Very beginning, you're trying to get figure this stuff out. It might take you a long time to close just one claim, and you're getting paid hourly to do it. So I think that that's a good way to go to start. And if you have the option, right? If you know, especially some of the bigger uh, carriers and firms, I think they will give you. They may give you that option. Um, at the beginning of the storm, and they say, "Hey, you know, we we recognize that you're new. Uh, we want you to to be able to survive here and pay your bills, your hotel bill, and be able to get fuel and feed yourself while you're here. So we're offering an hourly. It's twenty seven dollars an hour, forty six dollars an hour. I don't, it doesn't matter what it is. Take it, and then do your best to ha use it as an incentive to learn the process, to where you can be like, okay, I've got this. I've closed seven claims. I've closed twelve claims. I've got this. My brain wrapped around this." I'm ready to move over to component to fee schedule and start doing doing this the, the real way, right? That would be, um, I think, an opportunity uh, for new people, and that helps you to kind of like cover your expenses and things like that, and not put so much pressure on you to be like pan having a panic attack because you're not getting paid anything because you haven't closed any claims yet, right? So sometimes they will offer those hourly things with the option to switch over to, to fee schedule later. I mean, you can ask, right? If, if you get called and they say, hey, you want to go to the, the hurricane, uh, pays hourly, um, say, hey, is there an option later for me to switch over to, to fee schedule? And I'll tell you again, whether they say, yep, or no, sorry, we don't, I don't care. Yes, I'm going. I will go there. I'll be there whenever you need me to be with ready to go with my khaki pants and my red shirt and my whatever, right? Um, so t and &E, mostly going to find that on um, daily claims. I don't hear a lot about it. Um, but again, it's just another way that we get paid as sort of independent contractors. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at AdjusterTVPlus.com.